Well, Todd Payton and Ruben Cotter there just obviously talking about how costly that first half was. The errors forced, unforced, defensive issues, uh, kick defence, and just he was very proud of the fighting spirit they showed in that second oh, yeah. 40. Yeah. Got a little awkward there when they were asked about the penalty try mm. and the coach said, not a fan of it, when the offender's sitting to his left. <laughs> Poor old Ruben Cotter thought he might have been going to the bin as well. So, yeah, yeah it, was a, it wasn't the ideal way for... Well, Cowboys to get into this game. And, and what he said was exactly right. And the, the first, I, I thought the Cowboys probably won the opening 10 minutes. Correct. The first try wasn't scored until the 16th, 14th minute. Um, and it was in that little period that the Sharks made their way up. But that was, that was after the Cowboys had their chances they with the ball. They, they just, and they, and they looked, did. Yeah. Mick, it was the same last week too yes. against Newcastle. Yeah. They had their chances. They just didn't execute. Yeah. They trailed 12-4 against the Knights last week at home. Mm. So another a slow start but a worse. But, you know, much more damaging because yeah. they gave up that try right on half time, which Todd Payton said... Yeah, yeah they were a little nice. overstimulated. Like, like the, they were very powerful and they, they got upfield... Well, in that opening 10 minutes, won that battle. Jesse Ramian came out with an error in the play of the ball. They camped themselves on Cronulla's line, but they just, they didn't, he was right, they just didn't seem to have that fluency and calmness. They made mistakes. They, they did. Yeah. And, and in the end, that made them have to tackle. And yeah. when Cronulla started to... They had a chunk of ball, yeah. the Sharks. They got the penalty try. They scored off the back of that. Yeah. They kick off, yeah, they score again. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's 12 nil. Yeah. Cowboys are thinking, we, we haven't done much wrong. No. Like, you know, we've been on the attack. We probably won the start. Yeah. Now we're down 12 nil. It's not even about, say, um, Cronulla turning the Cowboys away early on. No. It's that they were just giving up chances. Yeah. They were giving up tackles. That's mm. right. You know, so play three errors just through... Uh, lack of, I guess, maturity and wanting to build pressure, yeah. forcing stuff early, yeah. yep. yeah. you know, not really getting into your flow, getting into your rhythm, getting people touches, like high percentage touches, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's there's one thing, you know, throwing everything at them and then them stopping you, but if you're not even getting to the, no. the end of your sets and you're giving up tackles mm -hmm. and then the other team goes down the end of the park and, and makes you... to grow, don't they? Yeah. It just, it just snowballs so fast. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Felt, uh, we yeah. saw him finish the game early. That is his career done at the Cowboys. He picked up a calf injury as he heads over to the Super League and Val Holmes leaves Allianz Stadium on I thought Val crutches. was awesome. Yeah, he was I'm amazing. He was out there yeah. in a beaten side. I thought he was huge for them. So Val will yeah. begin a new career at St George Illawarra in 2025.